Hello, my name is Juan Pablo. I'm a portrait photographer and lens baby ambassador based in Guatemala. And welcome to this video where I'm gonna talk about the Omni filters and how I use them to create amazing pictures. If this sounds interesting, join me into this process. Before we start, Omni filters are different elements to put in front of the lens to create special effects in our pictures. They are attached by a magnetic system which allows us to have a lot of freedom at the time of shooting, and we can move them in different angles to create endless reflections, colors and feelings in each picture. These are some of my favorite pictures taken with them. As you can see, the effects achieved with them are really creative, and that's why I love them so much. A couple of days ago, I got this package full of new pieces of the Omni filters, so I'm really excited to test them, and for that, I have built a simple photo shooting here, so I can try how they work and help me to create amazing pictures. For these pictures, I'm gonna use the Lens Baby Velvet 56 and an external flash with a diffuser to have backlight in some pictures. The location is very simple. This Monstera plant will give me an excellent background and I will use the afternoon sky with a silver reflector. Now that it's all set, let's start with the trial. For the first pictures, I'm testing the light and the location. I'm not using any filter yet. We can see the results look interesting, and the light works perfectly. The first element I'm gonna test is the gold Swiss cheese. This one allows me to have beautiful warm tone in the pictures. This filter has also a silver side, which gives us colder tones. I can use it in different angles, towards the lens and completely in front of it. The second element I'm gonna test is the see-through silver Swiss cheese. This one allows me to partially see through it and to get colder tones in the pictures. I can use it in different angles towards the lens and completely in front of it. You can see that the position of the filter affects how hazy and dreamy the pictures will look. The third element is the see-through silver trapezoid. I just put it partially in front of the lens and I can have some light distortions and reflections in the bottom of the picture. Depending on the angle, we can change these reflections. The fourth element is the see-through silver convex. This one allows us to partially see through it and to create distortions in the image. We can move it in different angles to reflect the light in many directions. 
Depending on what we have around, this one may also reflect other objects. Personally, I found this filter very interesting. The fifth element is the gold and silver concave. This filter comes with a different color in each side. For these pictures, I'm using the gold side, which allows us to have a warm tone and some sort of reflection in the corners of the picture, depending on where we place it. The sixth element is the see-through silver concave. This filter shows us partially the things behind it and doesn't reflect as much as the previous elements. To test the differences, I have also placed both filters in different corners of the lens. So here, we can see that the golden filter reflects more light while the see-through filter allows us to partially see the things behind it. The seventh element is the see-through silver barn door. As you can see, this filter is the biggest and heaviest of all the collection. So, I'll attach it using two clamps. This one acts as a partially reflective mirror, but it also allows us to see through it, creating images that reflect the things around. Depending on the angle, we can also get a reflection of the sky and branches, so we need to turn the direction of the filter. I can think about using it for many purposes, such as reflecting things and creating some mirror-like pictures. The eighth and ninth elements are the silver cuttable and the see-through silver cuttable. As you can see, these elements come two of each one, and as most of the filters, they have a protective film which we need to remove before using them. I found difficult to use clamps to attach the whole piece, so I decided to use these filters with my hands around the lens. The cool part of them is that they are very flexible and we can cut them to create personalized shapes. The effect that I'm getting is like moving lights in a long exposure picture. I like it so much. After looking at the final pictures, I will say that my favorite filters are the golden Swiss cheese, and the see-through silver cuttable piece. I think the effects look even better when you have the sun towards the camera. This helps to exaggerate the reflections. I took these pictures testing the same filters, but in a different location. I also used a 200mm lens, and I noticed that the results are very soft because of the focal distance. Something else that I noticed is that they were better with wider apertures and focal distances above 50 mm. These are some of the amazing results that we can achieve using the Omni filters.
I still need to practice and I still need to find more creative ideas to use in my future pictures. I hope this video inspired you to create different and unique pictures. Thank you for watching and see you next time.